You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It was totally the right thing to do. I shouldn't resent you for encouraging me to sell the stag. You know, I should reward you for keeping our family on track. Right. You know, that car was holding me back. What do you mean, holding you back? That's like a time machine. You know? Like when I get in it, it literally transports me. And sometimes I even talk to him. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. How do you mean, uh, talk to him? It's like he's there beside me. Uh, only happens when uh, I'm on my own. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because I didn't want you to think I was crazy. Or that I was too involved in my past life. Or that... I'm trying to keep him alive or something. I don't think you can control things like that. I have a sweater of his in the back of my closet that I keep in plastic. And sometimes I take it out and I smell it. And it's like he's in the room with me and he's got his arms around me. Is that wrong? Me, do you want to leave me? For some folks who lose people, uh, it can be a real challenge to keep them alive. They heal quickly and get on with their lives and feel terrible for it. For others, it's almost as hard to keep them dead. They won't leave them alone the rest of their life. It's love and grief, baby. There are no rules. Does it bother you that Michael is still so present in my life? You loved him at the time he died, right? Love sets at moments like that. Grief hopefully fades, and memory eventually, but love. I knew how much you loved him, gone into this. I'm a grown up. But I also know how much room there is in there. That's what drew me to you. That your heart was the biggest place I'd ever been in the world. I knew that from the way you are with people, my parents, patients, daughters. And if I got one little part of that, well, that was way more than I ever expected in life. You mean that? I have a cup, chipped and broken in the office, belonging to my mom. I can see her at the window at home refilling endless cups of peppermint tea when I was a kid. I don't know why, but it just, well, transports me. Sometimes I like to drink from it. It's like kissing her. How did I get so lucky twice in my life? I'm grateful I did once. Let me tell you something. Remember that day I said I was driving and closed my eyes and let go of the wheel? I'm pretty sure someone grabbed the wheel and steered me back onto the road. So I could come to you.